Come on. 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 what hip hop could be and, and how we able to take over all these corporations and brands. Now they need us to sell their products. Right. If you can, can you talk a little bit about uh, Corey, Corey Miller? Yeah. Your brother. Um, we covered a few stories over, over the last couple of years about hunger strikes and different things. I think we even talked to one of his uh, representatives at one point. How is he doing? And uh, any updates on him, if you uh, care to share with the people? Yeah. You know, uh, Corey Miller's my brother. I love him. Uh, I think a lot of, celebrities and stars and people, you know, you know, people come in and, and you know, to, to be a part of, you know, trying to get him, he's an innocent man. But at the end of the day, man, I think education is what this is all about. Trouble is easy to get into and hard to get out. I mean, he's holding his head up, he's in good spirit, but at the same time, man, this is, this is a difficult case because of what his name is, his stage name, and people shouldn't be incarcerated for a stage name. Uh, but, um, you know, this is not a federal case. This is a state case. So you have to build relationships with the governor, with, with people inside Louisiana. And I think that a lot of celebrities and entertainers, they don't they don't understand that. So as a family, we're just trying to do our part. And we know one day we're going to get him out soon. Uh, Mac is home and and free quarter Miller, my brother, going to come home soon. And what, what do you think about? I was uh, reading up about Louisiana. I'm not sure if they changed it. Being the only state where somebody can be uh, convicted, you know what I mean, um, by a jury or not convicted unanimously by a jury. I think it was like 10 to 2 or something like that. Yeah, yeah not. Sitting in there. How you yeah, it's crazy. That's why I say trouble is easy to get into but hard to get out of, especially in Louisiana. This is not the place to, to have to be fighting for your freedom, even if you're innocent. Uh, I, I know so many people that's uh, incarcerated now, even for, for marijuana, cannabis, a $20 bag of cannabis. They had a guy now serving a life sentence. And so that's when I came up with the 510, 520 Cannabis Freedom Day. So, right. uh, man, we, we fighting for so much stuff. I mean, cannabis is legal in 34 states and it's not legal in Louisiana yet. So uh, we just got to keep fighting, man. There's a lot of injustice, but, you know, we got to do a lot of praying. It's going to take a lot of prayers. For sure. Indeed. I don't know if you know or saw Mayor Adams, Eric Adams in New York. He's trying mm -hmm. to put a social ban on drill music, um, saying that it, it's just it's terrible. It's leading to youth gun violence. He was yeah. talking and speaking on, on a young rapper that passed away, a drill rapper. Um, and we, we see and obviously kind of pertaining to Corey Miller situation, the yeah. Prosecution used his lyrics against him in that situation. So we see the power of lyrics and yeah. we're trying to advocate against that. But what's your thoughts on the mayor pushing against just completely eradicating drill music altogether or from social media, I should say? Yeah, I just think that uh, you know better, you do better. I mean, it's just entertainment. But at the same time, a lot of our young people are dying because they can't see the difference. And I think that's what the mayor is trying to say. I think he's saying it but people not connecting to it because he's not saying it the right way. Mm -hmm. I mean, people are dying and uh, we have a lot of followers now to where young people are not being able to see that this is entertainment. If you look at what Scarface and that, you know, that movie did for us back then, it turned a lot of people out, but a lot of us realized that this was just entertainment. And I think till we get these young people to realize that this is just entertainment, you don't, you know, these guys are not living like this every day. So when you see that music, you thinking that you have to live like that. And it's the other people that are committing the crimes. It's not the artists that you're seeing. The right. artist is using this as entertainment to make it out the ghetto. But at the same time, the, the, the younger generation is brainwashed by this, whether it's blacks, whites, Latinos, or Asian. They don't really want to live that life, but they want to wild out. And they, when they get caught up, they don't realize that it was just entertainment. 
from an artist. And so I just think once he's able to explain what he's trying to say, I think that people are going to see, you know, he's trying to save lives. But at the same time, I mean, we have the freedom of speech. Uh, we, we have the, the, the freedom to create any type of music. This is America. So I don't think it's going to stop that. But I think that people have to start being responsible for their own lives and, and stop, you know, pointing the fingers at other people. And uh, I mean, I think as a kid, I watched New Jack City, Scarface, you know, right. so you could want to be Tony Montana. I mean, uh, Scarface shot up the movie. I mean, he got shot a hundred something times. So he was shooting with the machine gun. Did they mean that we wanted to live like that? The right. people that's going to take it and take the negative part and, and get brainwashed, they're going to do that anyway. They could go watch a Disney movie and do that. So, but uh, I, I just think we got to stop pointing the fingers and finding excuses for people. Uh, we, we, do, we are dealing with mental illness in this country, but I also think that parents have to take accountability. Uh, you know, when my brother died at 19, you know, mm -hmm. my parents had to take accountability for it, not just like, oh, well, we're gonna blame it on some music or blame it on that. No, let's blame it on reality. If your kid's in the wrong place at the wrong time, doing the wrong stuff, uh, they're going to eventually get into some type of violence or trouble or even debt or go to prison. So I think as parents, when we spend time with our kids, we got to show them that this is just entertainment. Like you don't have to live like that, like, like a video game. They're yeah. not going to play in the video games because, you know, we got Grand Theft Auto. We got it real. And some kids then died from that trying to mark that. So, but, you know, we, we have to sit down, hold these conversations like the mayor is doing. And we got to come with some type of happy medium or put some type of advisory on on, on, on this product. But I, I don't think these kids are going to stop it. It's going to make them go underground and, and, and do it even more. So, uh, yeah, we, we got to spend time and educate the next generation. Yeah. Now, Jay-Z, Meek Mill, and a, a few other rappers uh, a couple of months ago, they're trying to get a bill passed in New York to kind of add on to what he said, mm -hmm. you know, to ban rap lyrics from being used in court. Being as though your brother, Corey Miller, his lyrics were used, you know, to paint him out in court as a bad person. How do you feel about that bill being passed in New York and obviously going around the country? Do you support it? Are you against it? Yeah, I, I think it's good, but I think that we have to grow up as people. Yeah. Because, uh, if you don't grow up, no matter what bill they pass, like you got to want to do right. I'm, the only reason I'm still here because I decided to do right for me and my family. Now, if, if, if you know, my lyrics... They can say whatever about me, about my lyrics. That's my past. I can't change the past, but I can change the future. And I realized that if I have lyrics like that, then I'm living on eggshells. I got to do the right thing 10 times is more than somebody else. Uh, are you going to end up getting caught up for whatever? But I think when people know your heart in the right place and you do the right thing, I think whatever somebody tried for evil, God will turn it for good for you. And I think that's what my life is at, like, none of us is exempt from pain. So no matter what, even if you defend yourself, if somebody come in and, and try to do something with me and I have a gun that's registered and I defend myself because of where my music come from, people are going to stereotype me by it. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I could do is what I learned from Johnny Cochran is that Johnny Cochran say, well, my brother crackhead, but I'm not. I'm accountable for me. And I, I got to hold myself accountable and do the right thing when nobody's looking. And so when people realize that, man, this man is not like that, they will eventually leave you alone. But if you if you carrying all this stuff and you're not making changes, then the world is going to punch the finger because they're looking for you to uh, to mess up, especially yeah. coming from hip hop. And, and, and that's what we're dealing dealing with now. Uh, it's bigger for them if we get caught up. So they want to make shows. I mean, somebody else. My brother's dealing with this now. Uh, he ain't the guy that committed the crime. But if you're around the wrong people, you're guilty by association. That's just how the system look at you as an entertainer. Uh, and, and, and I guess those lyrics, the same thing. People look at that, too, and say, well, if, if, if you got that in your lyrics and your music, then you live in that. I mean, look at Mac. Mac was a living example to where that murder, murder, kill, kill Sony made. I mean, he could be talking about killing the game, but once right. you get into court, you know, but I think too, you 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 got to police yourself, so yeah. you know that you're a target, 
And so what you need to do is do the right thing. And that's that's the only thing I'm doing. I'm not perfect. I'm praying for the people that's, that, that get caught up into the injustice. But at the same time, I'm trying to be 10 steps ahead of them and just do the right thing. And then if something negative happened, you know, me defending myself, then you know what? I mean, that's the way that's that's the way it go. Uh, I realize in life that you just have to do the right thing. And I just leave you with that. Uh, I think if they go get that taken out of court and all that, it still don't matter. I think every individual is going to be held accountable for themselves. And uh, I, I think it's a, it's a great start. But, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think the world, world going to judge you by your lyrics. At the end of the day, they're going to judge you by your action.